This is the fashion capital of Europe, home of the oldest active shopping gallery in the world and home of world-famous fashion brands like Armani, Versace and Dolce & Gabbana. Yes, you're right, this is Milan, Italy and here shopping is one of the most popular things to do. Obviously, I'm not a fashion guru, but I want to show you the most popular shopping areas in the city you simply have to visit even if you're not a shopping enthusiast. I'll also show you world-famous drink you have to have in Milan to complement your shopping experience. Hi guys, my name is Rock and I've spent last 9 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide and I can't wait to take you on a luxury shopping tour around Milan, Italy. In Milan, shopping goes hand in hand with its beautiful and rich heritage. Just look at this amazing shopping gallery. In this place, it's easy to see how important is shopping for Milan, as this shopping gallery is considered to be one of the major landmarks of the city. This is the oldest active shopping gallery dating back to 1877. It was named after Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of Kingdom of Italy. The gallery has an arching glass roof that covers the very important street that connects two famous Milan squares. Piazza del Duomo and Piazza della Scala. The roof was made of cast iron and the central octagonal space is topped with a glass dome. This gallery is an important piece of 19th century iron and glass architecture and represents the largest shopping arcades of its time. Today's appearance has gone through different historical modifications and restorations, but it kept its traditional bars and restaurants that have been part of Milanese luxury lifestyle for the last 150 years. Here you can find only the finest, most exclusive and luxury shops as even McDonald's was expelled from this gallery in 2012 and was replaced with the gallery's second Prada store. Here you'll find exclusive, custom-fitted high-end fashion that is constructed by hand from start to finish from the finest materials. Here are also the best jewelers, finest bookshops, art galleries and even a luxury hotel. The gallery also houses Leonardo III, a museum of Leonardo da Vinci that worked in Milan for many years. The museum displays amazing working models and machines invented by Leonardo da Vinci and a copy of his most famous painting, The Last Supper. Even if you can't afford shopping in this amazing gallery, you simply have to do some window shopping here as it's truly a great experience. This is the best department store in Italy that was proclaimed the best department store in the world in 2016. This elegant, high-level and well-stocked department store was built in 1889 on a prominent location right next to the world-famous Milan Cathedral known as Duomo. The department store was designed as a visual spectacle to attract potential customers and make them enjoy the experience of shopping without having in mind anything in particular that they wanted to buy. But in 1918, a fire destroyed this store. Soon reconstruction was made, a new store surpassed the previous building in terms of modernity and style and was opened to the public in 1921 under its new name. Rinascente that translates into she who is reborn. This store invented new way of shopping we still use today, as it was the first to show the garments to be sold, put on the shelves and visible from the shop windows. Inside is a collection of high-end stores with Italian and international brands in fashion, accessories, beauty, homeware design and food. Also, don't miss a spectacular Il Bar on the top floor that offers refreshments and spectacular views of the Duomo. If you're looking for a bit more affordable prices, take a walk from Piazza Duomo down via Torino Street. Here you'll find something that matches your style and budget. 
This is the oldest street in Milan, full of great international shops. It's full of international street brands and chains that can be found in all major European and international cities. This street is particularly famous for shoes with a variety of footwear. Besides shopping, this street offers real cultural gems with its churches full of beautiful paintings. There are many more amazing shopping areas, but first, let's take a break with typical Milanese aperitivo, a pre-dinner drink that was invented right here in Milan. Aperitivo was invented as a pre-dinner ritual with a drink that stimulates rather than spoils the appetite. Nowadays, aperitivo has become a period after work and before dinner to socialize with friends. But it all started in the 19th century when Gaspare Campari was serving his bitter aperitif in his Café Campari on the corner with Piazza Duomo. He created a liquid with a unique bitter taste and a very recognizable vibrant red color. Nowadays, Milan's most popular place for aperitivo is this beautiful Navigli neighborhood. It is packed with charming aperitivo bars along the banks of the canals. In many places, they will bring you a free snack or chips, maybe some olives or popcorn, while other places even offer a proper buffet of food to go with it. Anyway, a classic Campari cocktail, known as Campari Spritz, is made from three ingredients. Campari, Prosecco wine and soda or sparkling water, and it comes decorated with fresh strawberries or oranges. Salute! Brera district is one of the most elegant parts of Milan. This pedestrian-only quarter has cobbled streets and is famous for its artistic vibe, beautiful shops and lots of good and stylish restaurants. If you're shopping for jewelry and antiques, this is the place. In this charming part of the city, you can also find a lot of priceless artwork. Palazzo Brera houses Brera Art Gallery, city's most prestigious art gallery with masterpieces by renowned artists of all eras. If you don't have time to visit the gallery, at least pop onto its beautiful Renaissance courtyard from the 1600s. You should also peek inside the fresco-filled 15th century Santa Maria del Carmine church. Narrow streets are lined with charming apartment buildings with fashionable boutiques and shops on the ground floor. Here you can find young designers, shoe shops, trendy tea houses and of course jewelers and antique shops. Numerous restaurants and bars have outdoor seating, creating a relaxed and pleasant atmosphere. And finally, here is the most famous and luxurious part of Milan where you can find some of the most expensive streets in the world. This is a world-famous high-end shopping area in the heart of the city that can compete with Fifth Avenue in New York and Avenue de Champs-Élysées in Paris. It was named after four stylish streets that define its boundaries. In a small area, this historic neighborhood is packed with some of the best designer fashion boutiques in the world. Here are all the big designer names and most luxurious stores. In neoclassical mansions, you'll see impressive shop windows and showrooms with goods preparing you for a unique shopping experience. Even if you don't buy anything, it's worth coming here. This prestigious part of the city generates 25% of international shopping turnover. If you're not from the EU and you're shopping without stopping, you should get Monte Napoleone card for tax-free shopping experience. Besides fashion, Milan is also full of amazing heritage, museums, galleries, beautiful architecture and world's finest artwork. That is why Milan offers a ton of things to do. If you want to learn what are top things to do in Milan, then you should check my video, Things to do in Milan, in the top corner. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can share your questions, suggestions or experience about Milan in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell to be notified about my future travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.